Don't forget to recall your truth on the wall and send more. Abu, for example, you don't have a lot of shoes in the wall left, you know? Because you can call them back and resend more. Please. <laughs> What is up lords and ladies of Godwit? In this video, we are going to feature another episode of the Army of the Dead. Well, I know most of us know the mechanics of this game mode, but for those who are new to this game, Here's some basic info on how you play this game. Army of the Dead is a seasonal event where you work together with your allies and basically defend the wall. Once inside the game, you can create or join a rally to attack rebel groups to collect resources for upgrading buildings. In return, players can enhance some skills to help their troops defend the wall. And I'll explain all of that in details in a little while. You can also help collect resources and get dragon glass, which is also vital on upgrading buildings. Alright, what are those buildings? There are four types of buildings needed to be upgraded while playing this game and each type helps you upgrade skills and abilities of your troops. The Maester Tent Sending collecting dragon glasses in this building would increase healing speed in a certain amount of time. Max level is 10. Next is the Stable. Sending collected dragon glass in this building would grant quick march. Maximum level is also 10. Next is the Training Field. Sending collected dragon glasses in this building would grant you increased army attack and defense. And finally, the sacred temple. Sending collected dragon glasses in this building would allow you to choose three types of buffs active until the end of the match. And of course, you'll have to send some troops to Castle Black to defend the wall. The army of the dead will strike Castle Black and each of the troops in defense will battle with the dead army. The Night King will send waves of attacks of white walkers and each wave increases from first to last wave. The wall have its durability and match will end anytime when the wall durability reaches to zero. But if it doesn't reach to zero, for up to 60 minutes, the game will still end, but this means the player wins. Hmm, sounds pretty exciting, don't you think? Well, here are some highlights of our recent game. And for the first time, you'll hear the voice of our alliance leader, Lord Esteban. So guys, just sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna speak in English now. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have. Hello, <laughs> Medic. Hello, Medic. So I speak English. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we're surely having great fun here. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sister team, the alt team, the main team, yeah, we need to reorganize because we have a lot of new players. We are a lot on the battlefield. I don't know how many, but... 20 seconds, get ready. So first, yeah, send your troops in the war. Yeah, after Chernobyl and for yeah, I know. I see the discussion, so we're gonna talk about that. Yeah. Uh, so 10 seconds, don't forget. Attends, je vais vérifier, Janice m'a envoyé. Ah. 
first uh, is infantry. Infantry. infantry yeah. Bowmen. So, in Bowmen. So, okay. Let's go. You can go for the temple, please, guys. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Very good. Nice. First wave. <laughs> Nothing, just tell me. So we are 61 on the battlefield now. All right, very good. Don't forget to check if you have uh, enough troops in the war. Yeah, going back. To yeah. Okay. Call them back and send more. more. Okay, so I'll try to send some uh, dragon glass in the tent. Training tent. Oh yeah, if you can, please. Faire un entraînement, s'il vous plaît. Training tent. And yeah, don't forget to read your troops. So 
basically first wave up to the sixth is fairly easy but at the beginning of the seventh wave we began sending troops back to our castles to heal and to send fresh ones back to the wall because the dead army is getting stronger Don't forget to recall your troops on the wall and send more. Abu, for example, don't have a lot of troops in the wall left now. Because you can call them back and we send more. Please. <laughs> up to the 21st wave as you can see fewer troops are in the wall defending go 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 for the wall ah mais moi je peux pas envoyer mes troupes Oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close for the wall. Go, go, go. En fait, pourquoi vous faites ça? Pourquoi vous faites ça? Ah, pour faire la, man la manche 21. Ah, oh. ok, je comprends. Allez, go, 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 guys. Uh, it's gonna be close. J'avais les dragons de glace, il m'a essayé les dragons de glace pour faire deux minutes. Pourtant, regarde Ah, pas bien, chef, pas bien. Et ici, c'est le meilleur team et le meilleur joueur du jeu. Oh, le meilleur joueur n'est pas uh, Bruni. Je uh, pense que Bruni était. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. Mais ok. Okay, congrats guys, so it was a nice round, we do our best, so good job. Good job, good job. Good job. And there you have it, the highlights of the game featuring the voice of our alliance leader, Lord Esteban. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on my next one. And may the 7th be with you.